What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Full 90. We are finally back with the Week 22 Premier League predictions. I want to give a massive shout out to the new members. First off, Anrudo Chilwell, who renewed their membership and they're now a silver member, which is awesome. Suraj Patil and Paul Genie. Hey, oh, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but massive shout out to all of you for joining the TF90 Super Tipsters Members Club. If you want to join, get exclusive tips and videos, you can click the join button down below or the link in the description. We had a pretty good week last week. FA Cup and La Liga specifically, as you can see, I mean, the tips are there for yourself. These were given to all the members of the channel. Brighton draw no vet was a push. Newcastle win to nil. You could argue should have happened. How on earth they let in a goal to Cambridge United after two disallowed goals is beyond me. Arsenal bottled the FA Cup, but other than that, pretty much perfect. Granada and Barcelona, we didn't go for the result. We went for the score market, and it ended 1-1. Sevilla, Real Madrid, Yeovil, Bournemouth, even games like that. We absolutely smashed it. So if you want to get involved, you can click the join button down below. I also want to give another shout out to Hayden the Leicester Fox. I know I shouted them out in the previous video, but I was looking for predictions in the comments of the last video, and the three results I was looking for were Brighton to beat Everton, Brentford to beat Villa, and Wolves to beat Manchester United. And they only they only went and smashed each and every single one. Also, if you missed my AFCON group stage prediction, be sure to go and check that out. I actually got a few people in the comments when I said Algeria would finish second that I was mental. I said in that video they'd get off to a little bit of a slow start. And lo and behold, they drew to the Minnows in Sierra Leone. So I think that was a pretty good prediction. So if you can check that out if you want. But now it is time for the Week 22 Premier League predictions. Kicking off, we have Brighton up against Crystal Palace. I think... Both teams are going to score in this game. I see no way in which both teams don't. And I think in true Brighton fashion, it's going to be a draw. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. My tip is both teams to score at 1.95. I think that value is pretty good. Crystal Palace, although they lost to West Ham recently 3-2, I thought they looked very, very threatening. And they could have scored way more than two. So I definitely think both teams will be able to find the back of the net in this fixture, given Brighton's recent decent form and Crystal Palace's goal scoring form recently as well. After that, we have Manchester City up against Chelsea. Now, although we've pretty much all decided Man City are going to win the league, etc, etc. This is basically Chelsea's last chance to have any sort of say about that in terms of changing that outcome because if Chelsea can win here that's a three point differential in Chelsea's favor in terms of catching up to Man City maybe Man City although it's very unlikely slip up in the latter stage of the season and Chelsea go on a mad one you know if Chelsea win here maybe there's to be a little bit of pressure on Man City however I don't see it happening I'm gonna go for a 2-1 Manchester City win this could be 1-0 this could be 2-0 could be 3-0 could be 3-1. I don't see Chelsea scoring more than one. So I've gone for the Man City win. And my tip is Man City to win an under 4.5 goals. So that could be 4-0. And the under market in this tip still comes in. And that's at 1.95 as well. So I do think Man City are going to win. But just in case it's a 1-0. I don't want to back the overs or anything like that. So I'm going to go 2-1. So you could go Man City winning both teams to score. But they could end up winning 2-0. So I've tried to combine all the likely score lines in this tip and like i said that encompasses one two three or four nil three one two one and that's pretty much it but that's a lot of score lines that i expect to happen so after that we have burnley up against leicester i think leicester are going to win this game i think leicester should win this game i'm going to go for a 2-1 win to leicester however you know both teams are missing some players and burnley have been scoring more this season than last season's and leicester have been conceding a load of goals so uh, this could easily be 4-2 or something like that. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Leicester. And my tip is Leicester to win and both teams to score at 4.33. If you are like me, obviously I'm going for a super value there. But if you are like me and fear that Leicester could maybe get a 2-0 or a 3-0 win, just don't complicate things and back Leicester to win because the value is still there. But I do think Burnley could get a goal against this Leicester defence because it is pretty shaky. Speaking of shaky defences, after that we have Newcastle up against Watford. And I think this is going to be an absolute cracker. I think this is going to be high scoring, end-to-end -end action. I'm going above and beyond with this prediction. I'm going for 3-3. Three, three. I, I could see there being loads of goals. I think over 3.5 goals because it could end 2-2 two, two or 3-1. I think that could be a market to look at. But my tip is going to be both teams to score and over 2.5 goals at 2.05. That means it could just be a 2-1 or something like that. But I, I see there being loads of goals in this game. Newcastle will think it's Watford. They're coming to St. James's Park. They've never kept a clean sheet this season. Let's score loads of goals. Watford will think it's Newcastle. Their defense is dreadful. We've got a decent attack. Let's score goals. And Watford games have been averaging like four or five goals per game this season under Ranieri. So I could see that continuing here and all we need is three goals after that we have Norwich up against Everton even Everton can beat this Norwich side Everton and Norwich I think are the two teams with 
probably the worst form in the league right now. Everton are still a better team than Norwich. Despite their terrible season, they're a better team. So unlike most weeks where I back Norwich not to score, I could see Norwich scoring, most definitely. Everton just conceded three goals to Brighton. Had Calvert-Lewin scored that penalty, perhaps the result would have been different. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Everton. And my tip simply is Everton to win at 2.0. Because Everton could win this one 2-0. Norwich are dreadful. And I do think Everton are going to win this game. Now, after that, a very, very tricky one. It's Wolves up against Southampton. I looked at this initially and I thought 1-0 Wolves. Wolves are at home. They're the second best defense in the league. They're averaging two points per goal scored in the Premier League. They're actually averaging two points per goal conceded as well because they've scored and conceded 14 and they have 28 points. That is an unbelievable ratio. Just shows how valuable their 1-0 wins are and stuff like that. So I was going to go for a 1-0 win, but Southampton have been looking pretty good lately. I know it's not a St. Mary's Stadium, but Southampton do have a goal in them. They just scored four against Brentford. I actually had a bet on that game. Both teams have scored over 2.5 goals at 2.5 and that was up by half time. Southampton leading 2-1. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I think Wolves look really good, but Southampton, they look decent as well. So I was struggling to come up with a tip for this one. I didn't want to go to under 2.5 goals because it could be 2-1 to either team. So I've gone with Wolves double chance and under 3.5 goals at 1.61. I think the home side, the, the better side just... The side with a good defense to not lose and keep it tight. That looks pretty good to me. So I've gone with that at 1.61. After that, we have a repeat of the FA Cup third round. It's Aston Villa up against Manchester United. And this one is a very, very tricky one. I initially went with a 1-1 draw. But even though Manchester United got the win against Villa in the FA Cup, it was not pretty. And the fans, the players, the manager, none of them were happy with the performance. And... I don't know, man. Man United do want to get revenge because they lost to Aston Villa in the league earlier on in the season 1-0. So I've given the win to Manchester United 2-1, but I would absolutely stay away from this from the result market. I could see it being 1-1. I could see it being 2-1 to Aston Villa. So I've tried to encompass all that in my tip at decent value for there to be two or three goals in the match at two, at evens. You know, this, this allows for 1-1, 3-0, 2-0, or 2-1 either way. That's quite a lot of results that I could see happening here. So I'm going to go for the 2-1 Man United. I'm not confident on that, but two or three goals at two as well. After that, we have Liverpool up against Brentford. Brentford just got absolutely demolished by Southampton. Liverpool, they are without players, but they're still a better team than Brentford. They drew 3-3 the last time the two teams met at the Brentford Community Stadium. This is Anfield. This is different. I'm going to go with Liverpool to score three again. 3-1 three, to Liverpool. My tip is Liverpool to win and both teams to score at three. I think there's a lot of value there because Brentford are good for a goal. Like I said, I had both teams to score in the Southampton game and it happened very early, but ultimately Brentford were defeated. So I'm going to go for the same narrative here. After that, we have West Ham against Leeds. Another tip you would have seen from my members only tips. West Ham to beat Leeds in the FA Cup at one point. 8. The odds are a little bit shorter now at 1.65. That is my tip West Ham to win. I'm going to go for another 2-0 win because West Ham are just better than Leeds. They have an unbelievable squad and they're a better team than Leeds. Finally, we have the North London derby between Tottenham and Arsenal. This is a very, very tricky one to call. Of the last five North London derbies, the home side has won. So that is huge that is a big statistic home advantage clearly comes into these games however i'm gonna go for a stalemate i think given spurs home advantage and arsenal's good form this season if we ignore the fa cup and when they actually put out a first team they had what saka odegaard and ben white play in the fa cup that was pretty much it for the first teamers i know a lot of people were saying we had a really like strong team it wasn't our first team at all if we play our first team here, I know we've not got Thomas Partey due to the AFCON. We've not got a few players due to AFCON, to be fair. Aubameyang, Elneny, if you want to include him as well. But I think Arsenal will have enough to keep Tottenham at bay. I don't think Arsenal will win, though, because it's a North London derby. It's a difficult one to predict. I'm going to go 2-2. Two -two. My tip is both teams to score at 1.7. It's going to be a great game. I'm excited to watch it, and I see... I struggle to see one side not scoring in this fixture. But that is going to do it for the Week 22 Premier League predictions. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below. We are, of course, now past 20,000 subscribers and looking towards 25,000 subscribers, hopefully by the World Cup this year. That is going to do it for me. Leave your predictions down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video very soon.